What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So typically in my videos, I don't really like to say where I'm fishing at, but today where I'm fishing at is really interesting. I think it's gonna, it's gonna make this video a lot more interesting if I name the place I'm fishing at. And so where I'm fishing at today is I'm down here in downtown Wilmington. Can't really see any buildings or anything right now, but I'm in downtown Wilmington. If you guys know this area, if you've ever been in downtown Wilmington, North Carolina, downtown is right on the water, right at the edge of the water of the Cape Fear River. And that's where I'm gonna be fishing at today. And what's really interesting about this area of the Cape Fear is that there's a few different bodies of water that dump into here, a few different river systems that dump into the Cape Fear, uh, such as the Northeast Cape Fear River, the Brunswick River, and I think the Black River. So you got four freshwater rivers kind of dumping into this area. And then obviously you got the ocean not too far down the river. And so this water is brackish, it's a tidal system. And what's really cool about this spot is that there's a chance that I'm gonna be able to catch largemouth bass along with speckled trout, red drum, possibly flounder, and even the slight chance of a striped bass. So Wilmington isn't really known for its striped bass fishing, but there's a chance that there's some in here. There's a chance that we could find some. So it's gonna be really interesting today to see if we can get some fish today, guys. We're about to uh, get the boat in the water and see if we can get some fish. Major what we're going for the most today is, is bass because I feel like you're not really expecting bass to be in here. Like this area looks really marshy, but I've heard if you can just keep going up the river some, you get more uh, like swampy type areas, more freshwater looking areas. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. Try to get some bass, hopefully some uh, redfish, trout, maybe a flounder or something while we're at it. Stay tuned guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's see if we can get some fish here in the Cape Fear River in downtown Wilmington, North Carolina. First spot, little creek, pretty close to the ramp. Just gonna start off with a little square bill crankbait. Seems easy, I can bounce it off cover and stuff. Yeah, just into this little creek, looking for little creeks that are feeding this smaller creek. So like the main river is over there. There's a bunch of little creeks that are feeding this smaller creek. But basically I'm just playing with the current is what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, I'm stuck. First snag, and that didn't take long. I'm about to get this thing out. I'm just gonna play around with this current. I got a few different baits on the deck right now. I got a jerk bait, deeper diving crank bait. I got a jig, a frog. I don't know. We're just gonna see what we can get, guys. Hopefully we can find some fish up here. Come on, get out of there. All right, this is good. Yep, broke it off. All right, that didn't take long. All right, stay tuned, guys. Let's see if we can get some more. Start, starting out not the best, but I think we just need to give it some time and we should be able to uh, to get some fish. Got one guys, something. Don't know why it's small, but I got something. No way. No way. <laughs> I got a little striper. No freaking way. That was the last thing I thought we were gonna catch today, guys. I'm not I'm not I'm not joking. That is fully a little striper. Or maybe a hybrid. Well I think this is a little hybrid. But look at that. That's fully, oh man, his stripes aren't really too distinct, but I'm pretty sure it's a hybrid bass, hybrid stripe bass, maybe a, a wiper or something like that, whatever you want to call it. But that's fully a, like a striped bass, some some type of, some sort of striped bass. Boom, first fish. Downtown is right over there. You can't really see it. We're in like the more industrial parts right now, but back in this little creek, first little fish on the Vision 110. Oh, that wasn't a good release kick off okay well oh yeah there he goes he kicked off all right successful catch and release so I, I didn't think we were gonna catch a striper today i didn't think we were gonna catch one before a largemouth i'm gonna keep throwing in this area for just a second see if we can get some more stay tuned y'all see if we can get some fish That's fish. Another striper. All right, I think that these are hybrids because this 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 one and the other one's uh, stripes are all broken up. So that's why I'm thinking that they're uh, 
they're hybrids, but let me get this guy back in the water. Whoa, almost fell in. All right. Yeah, he swam off good. All right. In the mouth of this little creek, feeding into the main river. That's where I caught him again on that little jerk bait. It's been like, I don't know, an hour probably since I caught that last one. I've been running around the river a little bit, trying to figure these fish out. Obviously, I'm not going for striper, but hey, a little striper is better than nothing. So I'm just going to bounce and hop to different little creek mouths like this. The tide is definitely coming out, and I'm just going to kind of hop around to a bunch of different spots like this. All right, I think I'm about to go to the next one, though, see if we can find some largemouth and or other fish species. If we don't get any largemouth, I'm really hoping that we can get some bigger striper because that'd be really cool to catch a good size striper. It's good to see that there's striper up in here, but I want to catch some big ones, some big striper or some or some largemouth. I don't really care what size largemouth because I just want to prove that they're in here. I want to make sure that they're in here. I'm going to fish just the outside of this for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to head to a different spot. So stay tuned, guys, and see if we can get some more. Oh, look at that. Another freaking striper. Another striper out here. This time I was throwing a deep diving crankbait. We bait about 10 to 13 foot. It drops off, you know, the creek mouths are right here. It's really shallow right here. And then I think they dredge out the rivers so um, big cargo ships can come up and down it. I decided there might be some fish on that shelf on that little ledge that comes out of the creek mouth. So I started throwing a, a shallow or a deep diving crankbait, not too deep, but you know, 10 to 13 feet is what it's rated for. He hit it up really shallow. So a lot of those little stripers are up shallow and there's a ton of gar. Uh, everywhere I've gone, I've just about, I've seen gar come up and surface. That was uh, another striper. Let's see, I really want to get some largemouth. That's the thing. Or a bigger striper. I'll be I'll be more than happy to catch a bigger strap a bigger striper. It's looking like there's just a bunch of baby striper up here. That'd be cool if we caught a gar. I've seen some pretty big ones. That would be pretty interesting. But really want to get a bass. That's what I came here to do is catch a bass where people wouldn't think bass, largemouth bass are at. So I'm just gonna keep heading up river, hitting different spots. Maybe we can get some. Stay tuned, y'all. See if we can get some more fish. This is looking bassy. We got some vegetation on the top of the water right here. I got a frog tied on. We're out on the point of the mouth of this creek. Let's just pray to God that there's fish in here. Just have one blow up on it. <laughs> All right, guys, there's something in here in this little mat. Not even a mat, I don't even know what this what type of vegetation this is. Dude, come back for it, please. I'll throw a jig in there. Let's see if he wants a jig. That was something. That was a that was a fish blowing up on my frog in the middle of the day. There we go, there's something. Feels bigger too. Finally. Oh, oh my god. He felt giant. I mean he is giant for what he is, but oh my god. That is a dinner plate of a bluegill right there. Ow, he got me. God, he got me good. That is the, one of the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. Look at that. Spined me too. Look at that bluegill. There it goes. All right, so three stripers and a freaking bluegill. Who would have thought? I really thought he was a giant too. The way he was fighting. Golly. Maybe that's what was blowing up on my frog a second ago. Well, we found the freshwater species, that's for sure. 
At least we know that, that there's some some freshwater species where we're fishing at right now. That's that's a really good sign. That was so sick. Oh my God. Little guy. No, it's not a little one. It's a pretty good one, actually. <laughs> Came back for it. Boom! Oh, that's what I'm talking about, boys. Largemouth bass in the Cape Fear. Middle, middle of the day, throwing a frog. Oh, buddy. Where have you been? Not a bad one at all. Oh my gosh. Oh, the freaking form of bone is so hot. Gosh. Came up and hit the frog twice. That frog is in there. Yes! That's a solid fish. Solid little keeper sized fish. Right there on that frog. Ow, God, that freaking, it is so hot out here. I think it's like 90 degrees. The black on the bottom of my boat, on the floor right here, burning up i could fry an egg on it anyways guys not a bad one at all right off that little piece of cover right there on the frog what a great way to to catch the first bass of the trip just get him back in there there he goes nice cape fear river bass yo i was I've been fishing for like four hours now five hours now Caught some fish that I was very surprised to catch. The three stripers. I wasn't expecting to catch one. We caught three stripers. They weren't big, but they're stripers. And I don't get to interact with stripers a whole lot. And so it was pretty interesting to see that there's stripers in here. Then that giant bluegill on the jerk bait. And finally, finally, a fish on the frog right next to this. There's this weird bush in the middle. I cast it over it and kind of brought my line around. Pulled it past in the shade, he came up, smoked it, but missed it. I set the hook on him, he wasn't there. Threw it back in there, he came up and grabbed it again. He was still fired up. Oh, that was so sick. We did it. We caught fish in, Wil in, in the Cape Fear River in Wilmington. We are a pretty long ways, not too long, but probably like a 20 minute boat ride, depending on how fast you're going, up the Cape Fear from where I put in at in downtown Wilmington. But we got it done, guys. We got it done. That just shows you, you can do it. You, you can come to Wilmington. You can go south, go fishing for redfish, trout, flounder, and stuff. You can come up and go bass fishing. Uh, if you want to try to get gar, I'm, there's tons of those in there. Bowfin, I know there's bowfin in here. I love it. This is what I love about North Carolina. And look how freaking sick this looks around me. You got cypress trees everywhere. In a, basically in the swamp. If I kept going further up the rivers, I could get to these areas that are just absolutely unreal. It's crazy to think that this is in North Carolina and like a week ago, I was up in the mountains fishing a super clear water lake for smallmouth, even though we didn't really catch any smallmouth. And these are only like a couple hundred miles away from each other. So this is awesome. I love North Carolina. I love the Cape Fear, I love Wilmington. We're gonna see if we can get some more fish guys. Stay tuned. Let's get some more fish on the Cape Fear River. Boom, I don't even know what to say now. I'm just so stoked right now. GoPro, stop recording. Yeah, I'm just fishing fishing this frog really fast. Oh, there's an alligator up there. Oh, there's an alligator up there. Fully an alligator up there. Oh my god, I just look up and that's like a big one too. Oh my god, that's so sick. Right there. Fully an alligator, like an eight footer probably, maybe six. There he is. What's up, buddy? Pull out, he went down. That's a gar right there. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's probably getting mad at me. I don't want to follow him too long, but that's so sick. Full on alligator right there. I don't know about you guys, but I, I love basically all animals, but alligators, reptiles and stuff have a special place in my heart. I grew up watching the crocodile hunter and stuff, and I don't get to see them this close and in the wild and stuff and so seeing that is just so cool all right man don't eat 
too much of the fish because I, I, I want to get some bass. We've caught striped bass, we've caught largemouth, we've caught a giant bluegill, and now I've seen a big old alligator, big old North Carolina alligator right now. That's awesome. You gotta love it out here in the swamps. I wouldn't really call it swamps, but the, the riverways of North Carolina. I'm just fishing a frog, look up, and there's an alligator swimming across the river. So cool. All right, well, this, this looks juicy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to fishing this. Hopefully he doesn't come up and eat my frog because that would be a whole different story. That'd be insane. So anyway, stay tuned y'all. See if we can get some more fish. And uh, maybe we can see some more alligators. That'd be cool. Stay tuned y'all. Oh. oh, I think that was two. Look, oh my God, there's two. So there's one chilling on the bank over there and I didn't see him. And the other one was just swimming past him. I think he's kind of trying to trying to stay, stay away from me. There's one right there. You can kind of see the wakes from it. And there's one that was following me over there. That was crazy. He must've just been chilling right up there, getting some sun. Down and almost fought. Look at him, he's chasing him. I think you can see them both right there. I think the one that was on the bank was a little bit bigger. You know, they're territorial for sure. They are not happy with each other, that's for sure. And it might be me, honestly. Like, they might just be pissed at me, and I'm probably annoying the one that was that I saw first. And the other one was like, Yo, why is this dude in here? And then he saw me and was like, Oh my god, there's two idiots in my part of the river. I didn't even see him. I've been looking for him on the bank too. I'm like, I know I'm gonna see one basking. There's a fish. Another little large mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, he looks freaking awesome too. Let's get him in the boat. There we go. Another decent one. On a jerk bait. Oh god. Okay. Don't do stupid stuff like that. There we go. Another little fish on the uh, on the jerk bait. Put up a good fight on jerk bait. There he goes. Little. Swamp river fish. Probably gonna be alligators food soon. Seeing as there's more than one, like I said, where you see one, there's always more. Anyways, let's uh, see if there's more bass in here because that could also be true too. You catch one, there's, there could be more. So that definitely goes for alligators and that just proves it. Saw one, I knew there'd be more back here. And sure enough, there's one on the bank, I didn't even see it. And I've been looking for them too, that's insane. All right, let's try to get some more fish guys. <laughs> Stay tuned, I can keep going on about the alligators. I just, I just love them so much, they're so cool. All right, let's get some fish. Another one. Like I just said, where there's one, there's more. Feels about the same size. Yeah, he's a little bit better. Oh, look, he's making a U-turn over there. He's like, ooh, found where they're at, huh? Oh, let's get you in here. About the same size. He's hooked directly on the top of his head. They're so dark in here. This water is literally like coffee and they're just super dark in here. Another decent little guy. Make sure there's no alligators around waiting. There he goes. I'd get nice releases, but when there's two alligators that you can see in the water that you're fishing, it's not what you want to do is have your hands in the water. Another one. Same spot, just in the little mouth of this creek that's dumping into the little river that I'm on. Another little guy. Yeah, get your ass in here, you're tiny. All right, buddy. I'm about to put down the jerk bait, honestly, because I'm just tired of having to take out the hook of these little fish. Like, we've gotten enough fish to make a video out of and to prove that there's bass in here, especially at this one spot. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm just tired of having to deal with this. Okay. All right, another little, little tiny bass, same spot. Gator food going back in the water. Same spot, there's a little creek that's dumping into the big creek. And this big creek dumps into the big river. And I'm about to put this jerk bait down because although it is killing them right now, treble hooks and little fish just don't really, doesn't really butter my egg roll, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you don't. Oh, that's a bowfin, 100%. God, it's a big one too. Oh, I spit it. Knew that was coming. I knew he was gonna be there, or not there, but I knew he was gonna be here in the river. 
Big old bowfin, prehistoric guy. That guy's been around since probably before the alligators were around. Whew, I knew that was gonna come soon. I was just like, when are we gonna get one? All right, y'all, it is super hot out here. If I had not started catching fish earlier, I probably would have gone in already, but like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna keep going, keep pushing. Finally found some bass. It's kind of where I thought they would be, but I was hoping to find them closer to Wilmington to make it a little bit more exciting and more cool that they're, you know, right there in downtown Wilmington, but they're not too far. It's really not that far from downtown Wilmington. I'll kind of time the boat ride back there. I'm about to head back there now, actually. It's getting hot, but there's another boat ramp closer to this spot, and there's a few other places to go in these kind of parts of the river, like, you know, it's like a swampy looking like where you would expect to see an alligator type spot where I think there's probably going to be some more bass and I'm also about to meet up with my friend Sam and so we're about to link up might come back out here since I'm back in this creek where I kind of want to be it's not as windy back here it's starting to pick up a little bit more but you know on the actual main river it's super windy and it's almost unbearably windy but back here it's almost no wind and it's just oh it's sticky it's hot it's muggy I'm about to head down the river it's getting hot I need to get some wind in my hair stay tuned y'all why is it blurry Focus. All right, there we go. All right, oh, nope. Why doesn't it want to focus? It's so annoying. Anyways, stay tuned, y'all. Let's see if we can get some more fish. I'm gonna head back to the ramp. Stick around, stay tuned. Let's see if we can get some more, guys. Wow, that last part was not expecting that at all. I got back out on like the main river and it was rough. At first I was like, okay, a big boat probably just went by. And once I started getting out, I just kept going and I was like, dude, these are a lot of wakes for one boat. And then I come around the corner and the wind's just blasting. There's like two foot rollers, the roughest thing I've ever taken the, uh, the new boat out on and it handled it great, but I timed it. It was only like a 20 minute boat ride. I think even if there wasn't two foot rollers on, on the river, it probably would have been even quicker. But once I got onto the main river, there's probably like five minutes where it was just, I was going probably like 10 miles an hour, just doof, doof just getting sprayed it was just it was hot it felt good when the water sprayed you so not too worried about that but it was uh, pretty calm back in those little creeks so i think me and sam are about to head back there just gonna go to a ramp a little bit closer stay tuned y'all and let's see if we can get some more fish on the cape fear There we go, bowfin. Oh, dude, bowfin. God, he's fat, dude. Damn. All right, there's a. There you go. Some good. He's fitting. Little, what was it, a large mouth? Yeah, I think so. Damn. Another one. Probably. That's a giant. That is a giant one. <laughs> oh my god. No. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> These fish are insane. What the hell? We're basically just fishing for the biggest bowfin now. I got so hyped when I saw him for the first time, dude. I have it on. I have the video. Or I have it. Yeah. Finally. Oh, 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 buddy, 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 buddy. <laughs> Got a bass. Little guy. Sorry. Yeah, little guy on the swim jig. I'd say today was a success. Caught some fish, some species I wasn't really expecting to catch. Some species I definitely did expect to catch. It is super dark in here, oh my God. I gotta do it outside. Pretty cool fishing these like tidal waters and you know, I caught some striped bass, those little striped bass or whatever they were. If you guys know anything about that, let me know. Yeah, had a really fun day fishing here in, uh, in Wilmington on the Cape Fear. There's definitely a lot of bowfin in there, a lot of gar. You can find areas that are just loaded with largemouth. I think I've heard that going a little bit later in the year, like once the water starts to cool down a little bit in the fall is typically the, like the best time to go. So definitely gotta keep that in mind when fall comes back around.
around. So yeah, that's about it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like if you want to see more. Make sure to subscribe, share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.